Previously, we traveled to Kenya to meet Joyce, Daniel, and their three children, a family working within their community to raise a healthy home in the face of drought. We don't have a permanent source of water. It only rained on March. The whole of April, the whole of May, and the whole of June, there was no rain. So that becomes a challenge. If you don't have water, when you look around, you can see that even the maize, when you look at my maize and you compare with that one of the neighbors, you realize that there's a big difference. Because I had water, I was able to irrigate the maize, and that's why they look this way. Through simple and cost-effective interventions, like the biofortification of diverse crops, the Thousand Day Journey is empowering communities by nurturing food sources that are as resilient as its people. Joyce and Daniel's family have the knowledge, but they just need a little bit of boost in terms of um, specific skills and trainings that will enable them to work on their farm to produce more food, more diversified crops that will increase the nutrient intake, not just of their family, but of their community because they plan to sell these foods to the neighbors and the community. Now we are working with uh, community farmers and also the Ministry of Agriculture to look at how to boost uh, the production of particularly nutritious crops um, in the community level and at the household level. Uh, so one of the interventions that we will be uh, introducing is actually through a partnership with an organization known as Harvest Plus. Uh, we would choose specific types of staple crops that are already being eaten in the countries that we target and uh, introduce varieties that are particularly high in key nutrients. The impact of good health early in life can reach far into a child's future. When we visit these communities, what we're seeing increasingly is that the quality of the health system is the thing that people need to see improvements in. They know to go for antenatal checkups, but the quality is often uh, less than ideal and those systems need to be strengthened. So the demand is there, the awareness is there, uh, but the quality is often weak and that's what people need to achieve better health. Babies who receive quality prenatal care are well nourished and have access to skilled and ongoing medical care in their first 1,000 days are more likely to overcome disease, succeed in school and earn higher wages. Investing in babies and their mothers early on is key to empowering entire communities. Coming up, we take you back to Myanmar to follow the team working towards dramatically improving healthcare in some of the most remote communities of the country. Be the first to hear when our next episode is released by subscribing to Our Voices newsletter at thousanddayjourney.ca.